Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here. Welcome to my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Well, I'm starting a little bit later today. It's going to be one of those more like nighttime ones. I haven't done one, you know, later in the day in quite a bit. Um, I'm going to have a review at the end of one of the things that came out that I didn't get to get in my last update. It's uh, Wrong Turn 6, so stay tuned for the end of this video for my review of that. Um, also, let you guys know, too, there's a site that they've been posting around a lot of these horror sites called KillCast.com, and next Monday they're going to be doing something on it. It's got like a countdown thing on there. It's definitely something I'm going to be looking into. It looks like some kind of an interesting thing. One of those kind of things where you have no idea what they're going to be doing on it. I don't know if it's some kind of a thing for Halloween or what it is, but I'm going to put a link for that underneath, and you can put your email on there and follow that. But anyway, though, we're going to get going today and see what we can find. Into Target we go. Yeah, some of the stuff that came out today they have in the front, too, is The Purge. And that was okay, but that 25 is a lot for that. And this one, anyone who wants to see this, definitely avoid this. This is, was such a bad movie. I mean, like, be bad in a way I can't even put into words. But Earth to Echo, I actually really like this movie. I, I'm going to wait for the price to go down on this, but I actually was surprised. This was a pretty cool movie. Barbies. This is one of the other things that came out. I talked about this in the last update, Life After Beth. This one I really recommend. I really like this one a lot. Into Walmart we go. Every time I see this duct tape they say to put in your locker, I just think of like a kid putting in the locker and then like ripping off all the paint and then having to answer to the principal. Like I never remember anybody putting anything on the front of the lockers. Like I feel like that was just something you saw on TV shows and movies. Like not a real life thing. They had some kind of like exclusive Walmart only movies here called Mercy and uh, Mockingbird. They look kind of interesting. I might get these. I don't know. They're twelve ninety six. Like I've heard nothing about these. I didn't even know that they were going to have these exclusive things. I'm guessing they're only only on DVD because you know Walmart doesn't usually get Blu-rays of that much. But, you know, they also have you know See No Evil, which I talked about in the last uh, DVD update. Yeah, I couldn't find a whole lot about these online, but they seem to be only available here. But I'm probably going to get these two when they seem the most interesting, especially this Mockingbird one. If you guys know much about these, let me know, though, but we'll see what they are. Into fries we go. And here's their board of, you know, what came out today that they're advertising. Sometimes they have crazy prices in here, like $33 for this Earth to Echo movie. And if I didn't have this, this is a really good price for the Melting Man, only $10. Uh, 98 for that. And now they even have a thing here for Trudeau Massacre, you know, like advertising $12.99 for it. Into Daphne's California Greek we go. So I ended up shaking it up and getting this kind of Greek bowl. I think it has like rice and shrimp. And avocado and stuff in it. It's totally something different. I haven't really ever gotten this there before. Well, I shook it up and don't know if I'll be getting that again. Uh, they kind of forgot to drain the, the water out of that and like the whole bottom was all water in the bottom. I was waiting all day to eat that. That always happens, you know, when you're waiting for something and then it ends up being like Duke. Oh well. Into Best Buy we go. This is another one that came out today. I really suggest you guys check this out. Snowpiercer. That's a really cool movie. They have another horror set up here. And, you know, the ring. But they don't have the slip covers on them. And, you know, the conjuring. The conjuring, though, had that really cool slip cover on that one, though. And another set up here as well for horror stuff. For, you know, for Halloween. This one, Stephen King one. And then they have the, the this set of uh, Halloween. I like this edition of the Return of the Dead, but like I said, it's just that thing on top of it, you know, a piece of paper. Now, the subject of Cabin Fever, you know, I don't know if you guys saw, they're doing a remake of this using Eli Roth's script. So it's going to be a, you know, script remake from the exact same script. All they're really doing is changing up, you know, the actors and then, like, you know, modernizing their looks and stuff. But I think it's just the weirdest idea I've ever seen for a remake. It's kind of like them doing the Psycho one they did, and it was all shot for shot. 
So I'm here with my review now at the end of Wrong Turn 6, The Last Resort. You know, I watched that last night. Yeah, you know, I've watched all the Wrong Turn movies. I think to me, my favorite is the first one, uh, then the second one, and then the fourth one. I think the yeah the fourth one was at that like kind of ski place. I really actually liked that one. I thought that one actually was pretty cool. Um, this one though is another one that they shot in Bulgaria. So you know when they do that, it kind of has like people you know putting on American accents, and they shot it at this weird kind of. It was supposed to be about this guy who inherited this kind of. Um, kind of like a spa out in West Virginia, and, you know, he gets there, you know, he goes out there with his friend, and, you know, the spa is run by this weird guy who's, you know, in the family of the cannibals and, you know, the ones that live out in the woods, those same characters, and I feel like I've seen those characters, like, each of them killed a million times already, and they all, keep, you know, continuously keep being alive. It's almost like they can kill them a million times and forget that they killed them in the past ones, and that's sort of what it's always sort of seems like to me, where they go out there... And it's it's just got this weird vibe to it, and um, the place that they shot it at has this architecture you can tell is nothing in West Virginia. You can tell it's something out in Bulgaria, and it just has that look to it, like this Europeany kind of vibe to it. It's like nothing like something in West Virginia, but they're out there, and you know the the you know those Hannibal characters are like killing them off, and there's some actually there's some kind of cool deaths in it, but there is some kind of weird aspects of this though that feel almost like something on Cinemax, like some of the sex scenes in this are a little bit like these they're, they're, if you see the movie you know what i'm talking about like they go on a little bit more than you think they would for a movie like this like i you can tell it's unrated because there was it was more like a cinemax movie you know with those nude scenes and the sex scenes with like these random kills in it it didn't really feel like the other ones at all i i didn't really totally dislike it though i mean it's not outstanding or anything but it's different. It, it, like I said, it doesn't really have that same vibe to it. But uh, I think it's worth checking out on here. And it has a thing on here, uh, you know, making of thing. But it has a thing that shows all the kills from all the past wrong term movies. So I'd like to know what you guys thought if you guys got to check it out. Anyway, though, guys, thanks again for watching and subscribing. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.